Welcome back to Tiny Bites. I know it's been a while, but thank you to my subscribers. And if you like the content you see here today, hit the subscribe button. This is all baking content on Tiny Bites. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super easy and festive Halloween design. The spider web. So this is a marbling or feathering technique, and it can be used on icings, glazes, and chocolate, or anything that is a little bit runny or loose, but then sets after it sets. So today I'm starting with some sugar cookies. I have used a simple recipe and dyed them a very festive orange, and these are already cooled. In a bowl over here, I have some melted dark chocolate, and I have some melted white chocolate in a piping bag. So I'm gonna take one cookie and dip it in the chocolate to get good coverage. It's important for these two chocolates to be as hot as possible without scorching. If one of these chocolates starts to cool, then the lines won't pull right and the finish will look lumpy. If either of these starts to thicken up, you can pop them right in the microwave for a few seconds, really a few seconds, don't leave the microwave, and give it a stir, or if it's in the piping bag, just massage it a little bit to mix up the hot and cold spots. Then take the white chocolate and just make a spiral. You could make concentric circles if that's easier for you, but I think this is faster. Remember, you don't have to be perfect. The lines can be wiggly. Just make sure that the lines aren't touching. Then take a toothpick or a small paring knife and drag the lines from center to edge in consistent intervals. That's it. I like to drag the lines off the cookie edge. I think it looks more spider webby that way. <laughs> Put these in the fridge for five to 10 minutes until they're set and they're ready to go. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this content, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time with more baking content on Tiny.